Hey guys, welcome back to Tracy's Place. I am here with a tag. Oh my goodness, I am loving these tag videos here lately. A couple of them I'll be starting, like I've already started one, already did one, uh, but I'll be doing a couple of more. And then there's some that have just been floating around out there that I've seen and wanted to do. A couple I've been tagged in, so I want to do some tags. So I'll kind of mix those into my content coming up too. And I'll be tagging some of you, uh, YouTube content creators. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and jump into this tag. And as you can see by the title, it is a work from home tag, more so for work from home moms. But if you are single as well, you can still do this if you want to. But like I said, I'm going to tag three people. And then I would love for those people to tag other people as well. I am going to tag Nene Eats, Brown Eyes on a Budget, and Life of Steph Vlogs because I know that they work from home. If there's anybody out there, any other um, YouTube creators that want to do this tag, please feel free. I just don't know everybody that works from home. Um, and, you know, some people, you know, work outside the home. So I didn't know everybody that works from home specifically. So, but I knew these three ladies did, and I thought they would be just do an awesome job at it. All right, so the first question is, and y'all, excuse me, this is the first time I'm using my ring light. So I'm excited about that too. So if the lighting is off, I've, I've been playing around with it. I couldn't play around with it all morning. So if it's kind of off, forgive me, I'm still playing around with it. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this tag. It is how it is. Um, but the first question is, and some of these are kind of out of order, so I'm going to try not to say number 12, number this, but um, you can number them however you want to if you're doing the tag. But the first one is, what do you do from home? And I do YouTube from home. I'm a YouTube creator, and I make T-shirts and crafts and different things like that. Um, I make a whole bunch of stuff. I even make, you know, candies and, you know, different things like that. But as far as my main, like, Earning money is YouTube and t-shirts. Then the next question is, why did you become a work from home mom? Well, I became a work from home mom because um, before me and my husband got married, <laughs> when we were talking about getting married and how we wanted our lives to be and different things like that, um, he said, he, he was talking about how many kids he wanted. And at first he said he wanted five. And I didn't know how I quite felt about that, but um, I said, well, if that's, you know, to be, then I want to stay at home. And he said, okay, well, find a way to make money from home and, you know, you, you can do that. So fast forward even into it, to me, it, it, it was harder. When my children were smaller, it was hard to make money from home because you're being a new mom and trying to start a business and... and it was just hard. So I probably should have not agreed to that. <laughs> I really just wanted to be a stay-at-home mom at that time because it's a job in itself just being a stay-at-home mom. So the next one is, has anyone said anything derogatory or negative about you staying at home? No one has said anything personally to me about staying at home, but I have heard people say things like around me, making comments like we've been in a group setting or something like that. Women have been talking or either, you know, just in a small group setting. And uh, and I went, remember one comment that bugged the heck out of me, if that's the right word. <laughs> but someone said, I, I couldn't stay at home eating bonbons all day. And I was like, I didn't even say anything. I'm just like, mm. And uh, then I've heard women say, you know, I just... I, I couldn't stay at home. I, I wouldn't know what to do. And my take on it was, if you are doing what you're supposed to do from home, you're going to be busy just about all day long. Now, you do have some leisure moments if you time it right. If you have, um, you know, if you make you schedule your time out and you're good at staying on task and on time, you'll have some leisure time a little bit. But not when those children are small. If you have one... One, even when it's an infant, and then you have two or three kids at the same time, you don't you don't have, you know, leisure time. If you're cooking and washing, seeing after the kids, playing with them, teaching them things, you're not eating bonbons. The next question. Most favorite part about staying at home? Hmm. 
One of the favorite things I could say is, well, I have several. I have a lot, actually. I love to stay at home. So I have a, a lot of things that I like about it. You know, being at home all these years. And let me say, I did work part-time jobs every now and then throughout, you know, while me and my husband have been married. Um, but for the most part, I've been a stay-at-home mom. And if I wasn't working part-time, um, and it's only, and I'm, trust me, it's only been a little bit that I was working outside the home. I've worked, mostly worked from home. Um, so I would say the first thing would be just being available for my kids. Um, when I had kids, and I know everybody feels different, so anything that I say in here, if you are not a stay-at-home or work-from-home mom, please do not take it personal because everybody has their own path. Everybody can do different things, um, can tolerate different things and can't do certain things or don't want to do certain things. So take that into consideration with these questions and answers. But for me, I never did envision having kids on purpose and then going outside of the home to work. Um, it just, it just, it never, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't, um, by the time my kids came along, I'm the youngest of my family and uh, my husband is the seventh in his family. So our mothers had grandmothered for a while and I didn't, wouldn't want to put another child on them anyway, but let, let it be known, that's not the main reason. The main reason is just that I wanted to be, you know, the one being the primary caretaker of my children, instilling my principles and values, just being around me, me teaching them, and just being with them. Um, I just, I couldn't, for me, couldn't just on purpose. Now, if I had to do it, that's a different story. I know people get in different situations, but that's one of the things I love being, you know, uh, working from home is that. I can stop what I'm doing here and I can, if they need me at school, something happens at school and there I'm, we live in the district that my kids go to. So I'm like right around the corner furthest. I've had to go for my children will probably be two miles because our primary school is like two and a half miles or so from here. But like our other schools, we have elementary, high school, primary, middle, intermediate schools, and they are like right here. So I'm like three minutes away, two minutes away, five minutes away. So I love that. Um, if they needed a doctor's, dinner's, dentist appointments or whatever, I'm at the school, pick them up, drop them back off. Um, if they're sick, stay home, just stay in the bed, you know. So I love that. And if I'm not feeling good, Oh, I love that. There was not, almost nothing worse than going to work sick or just not, sometimes you wasn't just dog sick. You just, you just wasn't feeling good, didn't want to be out around anybody or anything. I love that about being at home. I could just stay in bed or get up and, and see my husband off. Oh, about to knock over my little thing. See my husband off and my kids off. And if I have to or need to, I can get back in the bed. Um, but for the most part, I'm up working, doing something, but, oh, and when, when it's time for vacations, I don't have to ask anybody, can I have this time off? Um, I don't have to worry about just having three weeks for vacation or two weeks or one week, you know, for, for vacation. Uh, if I have to take my mom to the doctor or, um, you know, anything like that, I can do that. So... I like not having to ask to switch with anybody because on the last job that I worked, um, I was, it was part-time and I had to ask, I had to work weekends every other weekend. I hated working weekends. And um, if it was a weekend that you worked, you had to see if somebody wanted to switch with you and nobody wanted to switch weekends. <laughs> nobody would want to work your weekend. So I, I really love that about staying at home. I can be, you know, mom and wife and me and, do my work, you know, without interference from the outer world. The next question, um, least far, least favorite part about working at home, the thing that I like the least about staying at home. Uh, there's not too much. There's not, too, the only thing I could think of is that I don't get out much. Sometimes I could stay in the house all day. Um, and if I, 
feel like I have to get out, you know, I just go out, you know, I go sit on the porch or I'm always running errands too, but it's like every other day or something like that. I try to get my errands done like in two days. I'm not like running errands all the time. Um, but like I said, if I have to go somewhere, I can just go. But as far as the least favorite thing I would, I would say is just, I don't get out a whole bunch. Let's see. My least favorite chore. Remember, this is for work at home and stay at home mom. So the questions are mixed together. Least favorite chore. I do as much as I like to eat. I do not like going to the grocery store. <laughs> and I know some people love it. Some people love it. Um, but I do not like to go to the grocery store. It's too time consuming. And then coming home and unpacking the groceries, putting them up, um, and just being in the store. Um, choosing what to get because I, I love food. I'll be wanting to get a lot of stuff. And sometimes if you're working on a budget, you can only get certain things and you have to be, you know, tunnel vision, you know, when you're in there. And so that's a little me, but um, it's getting better. It's, it's, it's getting better as far as the budget is increasing. So I'm, I'm good with that part. But as far as just going and making the time to go, making up the list, cutting out coupons, trying to get this deal, that deal. Mm, I do it, but mm, my least favorite. <laughs> my second least favorite thing to do is clean our shower. The shower in me and my husband's bathroom. Um, it is tile, and my husband did the bathroom himself, and he redid the bathroom, and it's tile floors. The shower is tiled, and I think I showed the bathroom. It's one of my first videos way 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 back and i showed the shower and stuff it is beautiful he did a beautiful job um my husband does excellent work you know around the house and redoing stuff and he is he he is he's a beast <laughs> but um and this it made him feel bad at first but that grout i don't know if it does it doesn't have a lot of sealant on it or either just grout is like this but it just, you have to scrub and scrub and scrub to get, you know, it clean. Those of you who have grout and tile know what I'm talking about. So I won't go no further. I don't like cleaning that shower. Next one is, uh, what is my favorite chore? Hmm. Oh, Lord. I would say just cleaning the house, period. Um, just like cleaning from top to bottom. I'm good with doing that because not when it's um my, my house is not trashed for you know hardly ever so it doesn't take a super long time i don't have like a whole mess to clean up um but yeah i would say that just cleaning from top to bottom when i just have to be sprucing up and vacuuming dusting and stuff is just knock it out um but when i have to do specific chores like Cleaning the oven. I, I don't like cleaning the oven. That's another one. Don't like cleaning the oven. Uh, the next one is, what time do you wake up? And what time do you go to bed? I wake up during school time at 6.05. 6.05. Uh, I probably should get up at 10 minutes to 6 and get started with breakfast a little earlier. But something in me just cannot seem to put that clock back before 6 o'clock hits. <laughs> five o'clock though that just seems like some ungodly hours <laughs> and oh my goodness i'm just turning over at five so yeah 605 and we make a beeline to get them you know out the door my husband gets up later than than i do um let's see go to bed y'all going to bed is a different story um because you have a mate so just to be nice, I don't know if children are watching or whatever, but when you're married, you don't always control your bedtime. You ladies that are married, you know what I mean. Um, and I'm not the I'm not the one being at home. I can kind of schedule or reschedule my day and stuff like that. Um, if for some reason I'm up super late or whatever, um, cause some women like my husband would would say all the time. He said, "Boy," because you know he's been working for years different places and stuff like that and just all along he always said boy them men always talking about uh they wife's too tired and they don't they got to schedule stuff in and then and he'd be like that devil is a lie <laughs> and 
And I'm, I'm not, you know, like the Bible teaches you, you're not supposed to do that anyway. You don't be talking about something. No, and I've got a headache all the time, you know, all this stuff. Anyway, like I said, I don't know who's watching. So our bedtimes vary. Um, I would like to get in the bed by 1030 and be sleep by 11. And even earlier if I could, but that don't never happen in this house. <laughs> the next question. Do you have anything in the background while working or cleaning? Um, like listening to anything. Um, for me, the TV is usually off all day. Especially since I've been work when I work from home. Um, usually it's off. Now, if I'm down at the computer doing stuff for YouTube, I'll have the cooking channel on in the background. So that's what I'll have when I'm working or making t-shirts and things are working on my YouTube channel per se. If some recipe or so, I love food. I love the, the network, the food network, um, the food shows. So I have that on in the background. If I'm just sitting doing work, I have that on in the background. Um, because something catches my eye, a recipe or something and I like this. <laughs> so, but when I am cleaning when I'm doing housework and different things like that or just busy work the TV is usually off and if I'm cleaning the whole house or if I'm washing dishes or stove or something that takes a long time I am listening to either I have my headphones on sometimes because we don't have like surround sound in the house and I like to hear my I am a music person I like to hear it so, um, I like it in my ear. I have my earphones on and it has good bass sound. I have to have good bass. Um, but I love having that. And that's something we're going to get. That's something that's on the next to, to do. Getting like surround sound in the house or something like that. Because when I'm working, I love that speeds up my time for me. It makes me move faster and, um, just makes me feel better about work. It's like I can get stuff done. It makes the time go by fast. That's what I'm trying to say. Next question. Do you get dressed most days or stay in your PJs? I get dressed most days. Um, uh, I very rarely stay in my pajamas. Every blue moon, I'll be, you know, working, just doing light things around the house in my pajamas. Every, I've done that just a few times, like stayed in my pajamas just till like three o'clock right before the kids come home or something like that. But uh, for the most part, I get dressed every day. Okay, the next question, how often do you do your hair and makeup? Uh, I do my hair just about every day. If I don't have to film, um, I might, I, every now and then I have gone without just doing my hair. I might have on one of my head wraps or head scarves or something like that. Sometimes my hair is just out. Um, cause I'm natural. So if I'm just around in the house by myself, my hair is out. And, uh, I usually do a two, two strand twist, um, or a, um, I forget the other word you call it, the when it's curly and just out. I'll do that. Um, makeup. Sometimes I don't do any makeup if I'm just going to be in the house. When I go out the house, I do not go bare faced. And that's not a big thing to me because... Other than what you see, I rarely even ever wear colored lipstick. And I know you all probably know I usually wear like a muted lipstick with just a gloss on. And you can barely tell I have anything on. But today I'm doing a couple of videos. So I said, let me put on something different. I put on some red. Um, but I very rarely wear lipstick like this. Um, but I wear makeup every time when I go out just because I won't say that I was even raised like that. My mother didn't wear makeup um i think she put on maybe a little eyeliner when she went to church some rouge and she did a little light lipstick or something like that she didn't do eyeshadow and all that stuff she basically was just just a little bit and that's when she went to church or was going out somewhere um and for me just every day when i run errands i just do and it's almost like i do going to church or whatever i don't i don't wear a lot of makeup um, I just wear a little bit of blush. You sometimes can hardly tell, but a little bit of blush. I put eye light, eyeshadow on my lid, um, an eyeliner, and I always do something to my eyebrows, just filling me because I got a scar right here. <laughs> and um, 
so I always kind of feel that in or whatever. And just like now, this only took like seven minutes, if that, probably less. I do like a five to seven minute makeup thing. Um, the only thing that's different with me today, I put a little bit of like a rust color right in here and I rarely ever do that. Um, and I have on lipstick. So other than that, this is what I do every day and it's, it's quick. I just, I just like to do it. I just don't like going out bare face and it's not anything horrible or anything like that. Cause my husband always says how pretty I am with or without makeup on. So I just, that's just, it's a, just a personal preference. It's just a personal preference. I just like to have something on. Next one, trouble zone in your house that needs the most work. Um, constant papers. I won't say it's a, well, it is one area, that back room, the pool table room. And that's only when Jalen comes home and brings her, her, all her stuff home, like in the summer and all her stuff goes back in there was in her dorm room. Um, and then, um, when we did this carpet in the house, we put everything cause we recarpeted the house and everything had to go back in the back room. I mean, just about everything. So it was a job and a half cleaning it out. So just, just that, just the pool table room, but we're getting it. It's basically done now clean. Cause my husband was like, I need my room back. Um, and then constant papers. I don't know if anybody else is bothered with that, but just papers, just papers that come in the mail or papers from school and not too many as much as it used to be the papers from school because, um, they're going, um, online now just like everything else so it's not as many school papers but it used to be just school paper i mean i couldn't even tell you all what everything is it's just paper so i just put them all in a box just to get they used to be you know on a bench in the kitchen some will be on my dresser pal about this big um just stuff i needed to look through and uh, so they're all in the box now and i'm gonna have to go through them though so I've, I've, I have figured that out. Just put them in a box. Uh, next one, how often do you find yourself getting distracted from your work, from your, my stay-at-home job work? Um, that's a constant. That is a constant. It's kind of hard to stay on task with that because there's something to do around here all day, every day, whether it's dishes, um, and I don't like a lot of stuff. It's like I can't hardly move good or concentrate on what I'm supposed to be concentrating on if something in the house is just out of order. Um, a little bit I can, but if something is just in disarray, I, I, I can't do it. I can't. I, I like a clean house, and then I can concentrate on what I'm doing. So just to even just sum it up, some of the things would be the housework that you see every day around that you need to do, um, phone calls, um and just different last minute things that have to be done. Okay, next question. Do you enjoy staying at home or do you miss going to work? Um, I, this is not, I don't have to think about this at all. I love, 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 love staying at home. Uh, I do not miss going to work. Mm, I do not find that I'm lacking anything as far as adult interaction. Uh, a lot of people will say that, that they miss the adult interaction. A lot of ladies kind of want to talk to other ladies and things like that. I have enough friendships for what my life can handle right now. Um, and I find that a lot of times the different kinds of people that are at jobs today, there's so many different people nowadays. It just seems like the world is so different from back in the days when I first started working. And the last time I had a job, you know, you have people that, <laughs> and you love everybody, I'm not saying that, but it just seems like people had more similarities back in the day. Uh, their morals and values were more similar. And now it's just like a free for all. It's just different types of people. And I don't too, I don't too much care for, I'm just gonna be honest. Um, there's a lot of, People that don't regard certain important things or they're real shallow or, you know, just different things. And I, I don't care for it at all. So I'm good at home by myself. Next question. What is your never-ending chore that gets in the way of your stay-at-home job? I think that was kind of like the other question. Um, my never-ending chore, it would be cooking. Cooking. Um, 
even though I don't cook as much in the morning and I never cooked like just big breakfasts all the time in the morning, but um, I did more so when the kids were younger. But now it's, it's still, oh goodness, what am I going to cook today? I have still, that's one thing I want to get organized on is meal prepping or meal planning. Um, and you would think I would have it down today, but I don't feel as bad because I hear a lot of other people saying they have the same issue. Oh my goodness, like you do everything else and you're like, oh, I got to cook. <laughs> and so cooking is just like a last minute thing almost, even though I can cook and can cook good things and stuff like that. It's a last minute thought. And I really have to give more thought into cooking and preparing the meals as far as um, I just so it won't be so aggravating. I'll say that. Cooking dinner is the issue. Next question. What do you do for me time? Uh, let's see. What do I do for me time? Well, I do have some show. I'm not a big TV person. I watch YouTube all the time. You know, just even while I'm doing my chores and different stuff like that. Um, I have it playing in the background. Um, and then, of course, like I said, I have the cooking shows on. But just when I'm not doing anything, when I stop doing everything, there's only a couple of shows that I will do that for. And that is um, Married at First Sight. I still love The Bachelor and The Bachelorette, even though they're getting janky. As I don't know what they just they starting to show a little bit too much and do a little too much. But, um, you know, I love the concept of that show. So I, st I still watch that until it gets too raunchy, which it kind of did this season. You know, I'm going to have to pull up out off of that. But um, I love watching um, Love and Marriage Huntsville. Now, so those are like two shows, possibly three or three, that I'm stopping everything for. Like, okay, if I ain't done cleaning this, I'm not taking my shower. I'm getting in the bed and watching those shows. <laughs> So that's what I like to do for me time. Also, um, uh, doing my nails. I don't. I do my nails once a week, and I do it myself. I don't go out and get them done. Um, uh, as you all know, I just do my varied uh, protective styles, my units. So I don't do a, spend a whole bunch of time on hair. So I don't go to the hairdresser and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. What else do I do? I, I shop every blue moon. I'm not a big shopper. Um, every blue moon, if I just want to get out and go shopping, you know, I'll, I'll do that. But that's very rare. I don't have the shopping bug like I used to in my 20s. Um, I do like going to the Dollar Tree here and there now, if y'all seen my hauls. And, uh, so yeah. Uh, other than that, I don't have a whole bunch, you know, that that's basically it. Oh, and um, I do have a group of ladies that I go out with. My friend Erica does um, ladies' night out every other month or something like that. But I've missed the past few. One is coming up this Saturday, so I, I'm planning to go. But, um, yeah, she has ladies' nights out. And it's fun to get out with ladies sometimes. Like I said, I don't need that, that interaction all the time. But sometimes I, I really am excited about it and... You know, every other month or once a month or something. You know, sometimes I get together with my sister-in-law or, you know, a friend from church or something like that. And we do something. But, um, so that's the other thing I do for me time. Next question. Does your husband chip in? Yes, he does. My husband is, oh my goodness. He is a doer. He is a helper. In, that's in his nature, period. He is a helper. Um... He has the gift of helps. So, and he does that at home. Um, he washes. He washes basically all the clothes. Um, and I'm so thankful for that. I'm thankful for everything that he does around the house. But um, he does, that's his That's his chore. He washes. He washes. Um, and he, he fixes things. Whatever needs fixing or, um, you know, repairing, what have you. Remodeling all the home stuff he does that and um takes care of the yard so he does the yard work the fixing up the fixing so we don't too too often have to call somebody in for repairs so my husband will learn how to do it or youtube it or either he already knows how to do it he's like my father in that way which i love i was like he can do anything 
<laughs> so yeah, he 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 chips in and and he helps. And he ain't trying to cook nothing. He will because he'll get up like in the morning and if I haven't cooked something that morning, you know, he'll fix him something and he'll fix him and Isaiah some eggs and boil him up smoked sausage because he eats turkey smoked sausage. And, you know, stuff like that. But um, he's not trying to be cooking and stuff. So when he come home, he be like, is it on the table? <laughs> the next thing, how many hours do you work? That varies because since I work from home, I can work anytime. My goal is to start having hours. And sometimes that happens, sometimes it doesn't. That's why I said it varies because that's been something I've been working on for a long time. And it just hasn't materialized for for every day. Sometimes I can do it. Sometimes I cannot. But that is having work hours and being done like with everything when my husband and son get home or, you know, when my daughter's here from school, having stuff done when she gets home. But since I work from home, like I said, things pop up, unexpected things happen. I have to go here, run here, do this for somebody or, you know, whatever. So I can easily finish something up at night. Uh, early in the morning, you know, after their game, soccer, baseball, basketball, whatever. Um, if I'm not done with it before I leave, I can do it when I come back. So I have not ironed out my work hours. Yeah. Next question. How do you balance being a YouTube creator and, you know, working from home, being at home? Um, and basically a saying, how do you balance home and your work from home work? It was hard early on when I first started doing YouTube. Oh my goodness. When I first started doing YouTube because my family was not on board. And my oldest son, he was already gone from home. But my husband and Jayla, she's always been fine with it. You know, she, so it wasn't hard with her. And she didn't mind being on camera and stuff like that. But my husband did not see the interest or... I, he, he thought it was fine for a hobby, but he thought I was spending too much time with it. And it was hard telling him that, you know, I have to get this groundwork laid. I have to study and learn YouTube. I have to support other people to get my channel built up as well. And just, um, you know, all the different things that goes into building up a YouTube channel. He did not get. He was not on it. <laughs> Um, he was just like, uh, and di didn't really want to be on camera. But when I turned that camera on, he was like, oh, you know, and I just not get him in the shots too much or whatever. But now since it has become like a good income earner, he's like, did you get that shot? <laughs> Do you need this? You need it? Like he got me this ring, this ring light. So he is very much on board now and very excited about it. Um, and I couldn't even be mad about it. It was frustrating for me because I felt I knew what the end result could be with YouTube and everything, but he did not have the vision. So I had to kind of work around with that. And, you know, he was trying to be patient. He was trying to be patient, but that, that was hard. That was hard. That work balance being a YouTube creator and your family is work. Isaiah did not like to be on camera at all. He's, eh, you know, so he'll sometimes still go, oh. You know, he just does not like to be on camera, whether he's just snapping a picture or filming him for, you know, you, so he doesn't too much care for it. Next question. Fa my favorite room in the home. Uh, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Uh, I would say my bedroom. I would say my bedroom. I like the color scheme in my bedroom. Um, And the family room. I guess that is it. The basement, y'all saw the little redo we did with the basement. I like that too. Uh, I still want to add a few things down there, much to my husband's dismay. But uh, I like that room too. But I rarely ever get down there just to watch TV or do anything. Or my heat press is down there, so I heat press t-shirts down there. But um, I like that room too. Uh, let's see. Least favorite rooms in the house would be, even though my bathroom is cute, I love my bathroom, but just for years, um, like years ago, I really wanted like a brand new house built. So that never really, that never materialized. But what I wanted with a brand new house was a big bathroom with uh, separate showers, separate bathtub, um, the 
toilet that's kind of off to the side and uh, the double sinks and just, you know, to decorate it real pretty and be roomy and the big closets behind because we don't, we have decent closet space, but it's kind of, you know, it's, yeah. So that, that would be it, my bathroom. I, because we just have a shower in our bathroom, shower, toilet, sink, and I really want a bathtub you know, for, for myself just to soak and just, you know, so that would be my least favorite just for that reason. Um, and then the kitchen, the kitchen, even though I got it, you know, it's decent. It's, it's old. This is an older house. So the kitchen is old and needs remodeling. The kitchen needs remodeling. Um, and when I wanted a new house, that was another thing. It was for a bathroom. I wanted a, a big bedroom with like a sitting area a, new, a pretty big bathroom, like I just described, and a kitchen, the kitchen with the island and the double oven and, um, the, you know, just, the, and bright cabinets, not bright, but, you know, something kind of in style and, you know, all that stuff. I wanted a big, nice kitchen. And I think I would have loved even cooking more. You know, I cook and I like, you know, I don't mind cooking, but I would have loved to cook in a big, pretty, you know, kitchen. Uh, the next question uh what does your home smell like mm, lemon right now my scent is lemon so I, I love for the house to smell like lemon okay the next question and the last question what are your strong points and your weak points when it comes to homemaking uh i'll start with my weak points first of all i do not move fast I am not a fast mover, and I think that even that helps with my personality and just being with my family too. Even though my kids would say that I rush, and when we have to go somewhere, we're running late. Yes, I do rush, but as far as just moving fast, I don't. And I wish I moved faster to get more things done quicker. I'm more methodical though, and it takes me a little longer to do things. And my daughter's like, "You gotta touch everything." <laughs> And, and that's about true. But I'm more methodical. Um, and I'd like to get the things done completely. And you know everything. But anyway, I don't move fast when doing that. But I also count that as a plus. Because hmm, I think that goes along with my personality. I think if I was a more rush, rush person. And I was anal at doing this, this, this. And I was punching the, the items that I have to do. My personality. my um, I would be frazzled and more anxious. So, I'm more of a calm person, so I guess I kind of move that way too, more calmly, you know. Um, but I kind of move slower, and I find that when my husband is talking to me, I'm not like rushing with him and stuff like that. And with my kids, when they call from like my two oldest, because you still got a mother with them too, uh, whether you're just being a consultant with the older ones or you're mothering the ones at home, you know. Um, I'm more calm, like I can have a good conversation. I'm not rushing off the phone with them. And that's another thing I like about not working is when my kids call, if you're at work or whatever, and your kids need you or want to talk to you or whatever, you can't, um, depending on your, the job you're doing. And I, at home, I can set everything aside and just, you know, talk to them. So anyway, I don't work fast. Let me get back. I'm getting off track. I don't move fast. So that's one thing I don't like. Um, and I just want to be more organized because I try to get organized. Like I get on track, then I get off track. Get on track, get off track. So I would like to be more organized. My strong points in homemaking is that I, I completely do things for the most part. I don't half do things. I try to completely do things. So yeah, and that's it. All right, guys, so that is it for the work from home tag. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry it was long, but um, yeah, I enjoyed doing that. I really enjoyed doing that. I love tags. So like I said, I tag Nene Eats, Brown Eyes on a Budget, and Life of Steph Vlogs. So please tag other people. You can tag between three to five people. Try not to tag more than five if you can. Well, tag as many people as you want. But um. Yeah, I can't wait to see yours and subscribe. I would love for y'all to subscribe to the channel if this is your first time here. And 
click that notification bell, thumbs up this video, and share. All right? Love you all. Be blessed. And I'll see you guys right back here on Tracy's Place. Bye.